Yeah, so we just defeated the mid-boss. Does it feel like, um... Oh, uh, do you get any, um, power-ups throughout the game, or no? No. It's just the You same. get, you have an inventory. That, I kind of like that when games do that. Oh, here we go, auto scroll. Because it means it, it's up to the, the um, developers to make more creative stage design, level design. Right? Yeah. To One keep things interesting, instead of relying on a power-up. Stop t <laughs> Hey, any game I can t bag I'll do it. So we got introduction to these falling platforms. Yeah. And these. Uh, what do you think those... Those, those so joy, really. What do you think those blue and white things are? They look like crystals. Rock candy. Rock candy. Do you know? I thought you were being serious. Like, yeah, that's rock candy. I'm like, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> I dropped the red coin to a pit. That's alright, this isn't a 100 I just realised the coins have Yoshis on them. That's awesome. Yeah. Fire flowers and fucking plants. I can't lick them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're pretty much at the stage as well, so. Uh, one thing, a little egg-throwing trick that you can use is to hold, look straight up, you can hold it up there continuously instead of it rocking back and forth. How does that work? Now, as soon as you press the right trigger, you start aiming, and it keeps going back and forth. But if you hold the right trigger and hold up at the same time, uh, it keeps it straight up. Ah, uh, okay. So that's a convenient little trick to hit something directly above you. Yeah. Is that is that like an exploit that you're that you're taking advantage of? Or something? It's not an exploit. It's something programmed into the game. Because uh, in Yoshi's Island DS, they they bring up a tutorial box right about it. They even teach you how to use it. Like they they give you something to shoot straight above you. I, and the only way to get it is to shoot straight above you. Ah, I can't see the audience. That's right, I've been yawning for the last three years. I had a good night's sleep too. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> good night's sleep, poor me. <laughs> I gotta get, better get some more sleep. I was having a conversation about my friend with um, Oh, I was in the car with my brother. We're having a conversation about my friend, Mandy. Yeah. And his sleeping <laughs> schedule. And it was, along, it was something along the lines of um, my brother saying, You can't change that guy. And I'm like, Oh, yeah? Just watch me. I can change him. Said every woman in the world. <laughs> they all failed. I said them like a high school teenage girl. <laughs> Clingy girlfriend for half a second. Now, every time man they pop on this channel. I will change that man to what I want. <laughs> no, you can't change that. I will change that man. Fucking man, deep. deep. Man, that was deep. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so yeah, if I had thrown everything, that would have been a hundred points right there. Why does the castle look like a shirt? <laughs> it looks like a man yelling. <laughs> oh my god! Why does it look like a man yelling? Like, like his hands up in the air. Oh, like his torso. Yeah. Like the shirt's angry. Yeah. Because because I'm not being worn by anyone. It's like, love wear, me! Wear me! <laughs> so we got a different kind of bonus mini game, which I'm failing oh so well. Uh, you gotta get uh, Mario heads in order to get lives. Uh, hey, you know what's funny? Um, it seems to me like they can't rub it out diagonally. I mean, like, at an angle that isn't diagonal because of the hardware yeah. dimensions, right? It's yeah, like it does seem like down the center and then no, up, no down, up down, up down. No curves in the, in the scratching. Yeah. On stilts. Oh, that's cool. I like the foreground. Oh, this is awesome! What? Look at how cute they are! They're like, I'm, I'm bigger than you. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, you got me. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah, see, this is the kind of shit that I would have played as a kid. Yeah, but I'm glad I played this during my childhood. <sighs> We got these new flashing eggs. It just makes you feel happy, doesn't it? And these red eggs. Yeah, it does. You play it for half an hour and then everything's good in the game. Like, everything's balanced in the universe. Yeah. Perfect. It's well, look at it. But we got some introduction into some coloured eggs. The red eggs give you two stars. So that's handy if, you're, uh, if you need to bump your total back up to 30. The yellow eggs give you a coin, and these flashing multicolored eggs give you a red coin, which you have to kill something with it in order to get it to pop out. Okay. 
So it's just the points thing. Yeah, so I should probably aim my next egg at something to get the red point. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah, so. And there's plenty of these pipes that have enemies continually spawning out just to refill your stock. See how you get some of those yellow coins, but they turn into red coins? Yeah, they're disguised. Okay. So, um, there's never any red coins blatantly out in the open. Okay. But they'll they'll be hidden. They'll be hidden, but they'll once you touch them, you'll know you've got one. Okay. So, like, right here, yellow coins. It'll flicker above you. Yeah. You pretty much know, and it even makes a musical tone. Oh, shit. Is it just yellow and red eggs and the fl flashing ones? Flashing and red. This makes me want to play Yoshi's Story. Oh, we were doing that next. Yeah. Oh, not like next, but very soon. Yeah. So we got these tulips that uh, just when you uh, chuck an enemy into them, they start emitting a lot of stars. <laughs> they're so cute. They do these stilts are awesome. Is this warming a little? And little boots. Thing in your heart. Look at the little boots on the ends of the sticks. <laughs> But 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 the, they're still your height because you're on the platform above. Yeah. They're like. Urgh. Urgh. Fear my machines. <laughs> Fear me. <laughs> Stop eating it out. <laughs> I will try to get everything I see, but like just to please the kleptomaniacs that might might be watching this. That's so cute. You can chuck an egg at Mario's uh, bubble to bring him back uh, closer to Earth, yeah. to make him easier to grab. But um, if you just snag him with your tongue, it counts. So just, you know, upwards lick and you'll pretty much get him nearly all the time. I kind of want to play. I'm kind of sad that you get to play. Um, you know, you could, even a beginner can totally handle this. I'll give you a uh, level 2.1. Yeah, no, I don't doubt I He says that as he dies. <laughs> Maybe we can do alternations because I wouldn't mind having a go for myself. Yeah. Well, like, um, there's after... really, there's really like no sense of death, um, except falling into the bottomless pit. Dude, I know. Spikes. It's so lenient. It's like you have a superstar on at all times. Yeah. Like, no, you know what? Yoshi just uh, had the common sense that Mario didn't. Wait, these things are squishy. Why do they not? Why should they hurt me? And he's just rocking a whole eight worlds doing thinking that. It's like, why, if I touch a Goomba and slide on, why does it hurt me? I don't understand. Yeah, he's literally, he's, it's not, he's, it's like, he's invincible through ignorance. <laughs> yeah, well, with that face, it's kind of hard to not be ignorant. <laughs> Is this food? If you make eye contact with him, it hurts you or something like that. Yeah. But you have to be close enough. No, but it's like, oh, I don't know, maybe he's bite, the Goombas bite you when they hurt you. That, they that's, never why use those, uh, that's why the top down approach always works, but the side on hurts you. Mm. But like, they never use those teeth. 8 bit games, man, you never know. <laughs> it's an animation limitation, I swear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think the biggest troll move is at the end of this level, there's a, there's a shy guy hiding in the bush. And oh, really? he just steals your baby and runs off. At the end of this level. This TV generates so much heat, you know, it's not funny. Oh, really? Well, yeah, when yeah. you oh. go past that, you know, you think. Yeah. It doesn't bother me, though. I mean, uh, we do sort of realize. Yeah. I live in a 3x3 three three meter room with my brother. Yeah. And we've been living, we've been doing that living arrangement and for and about could two, three years, and we're just like, yeah, whatever. It's, it's cool. maybe if you used to. It's, it, it, like, when I go past here, I could. Feel the heat? Yeah. Why not? Uh, no, see, we're sitting too far away to, to notice that. <laughs> you are too cool, mate. <laughs> too cool. <laughs> too cool. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> what did that happen? Um. What? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> I think. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not His dad just walked by and he's like, It's so hot in here! And then you're just like... <laughs> 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 so so right. that was my entire family. <laughs> Have you seen the Brady Bunch? <laughs> oh no. We're not even gonna cut that. That's just gonna be... Oh, oh no, there no. you go. It's a splice of life. 
That was interesting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so now you see know the how the my TV works. In, uh, see the difference, the differential in this parent character? It's like, fuck, it's fucking hot in here. And then it's the mom's, the mom's just I like, did I step too loud, <laughs> man? Shit, I'm sorry. Fuck. Where'd they run off to? Shops or something? Uh, there, it's fucking, if you didn't already hear. <laughs> No, I was too busy cringing. <laughs> <laughs> me too. It's alright, you can forgive me. <laughs> I think I need to forgive myself first. Um, are we at the last level? Second last, okay. Do you mind if I go at the last level? Or? I'll give you World 2 to conquer if you want. The whole thing? Yeah. It could be a joint LP if you want. Because, um... Like I said, I didn't even need practice for this game. It's just these one or two stupid deaths. Um, you might have to direct me just where to go if oh, yeah. if I get disoriented. Because it actually, I'm starting to realize that there's a lot more top down. There's a lot more to explore, than Mario. Than just side scrolling like Mario. Ah, they keep. But uh, one thing that sucks is respawning enemies. But this is my favorite favorite musical track in the entire game. I think it gets a remix in uh, Smash uh, Brothers Wii U. The soundtrack reminds me of Africa. It's like, <laughs> it sounds like I'm just imagining. Theme song. Yeah, I'm imagining him like nodding in agreement to the song. <laughs> Almost like a headbanging equivalent, but a very Ooh, laid uh, back. Let me just show this up. Oh, what are they? Wait, let me just. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm spitting seeds out, which I can get by by licking watermelons. What? You can eat watermelons up in the trees. Now, when you Where touch the these. You're going, up, you're going a little... Are you serious? You start tripping out. Wow, they actually... And it even disorients the music. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do the level like this. I'm actually surprised that they would go to the lengths of, like, um, it implying the trip out, you know? Yeah. But it's gonna be much harder to get some eggs. Do you move do any differently? Yeah, look, I'm staggering. Look, I'm, I'm holding left all the time, but Yoshi keeps stopping. Really? Wow. So you turn from Mario into Luigi or something? <laughs> You're under the effect of Luigi's final smash. Stop hitting them! <laughs> I, I'm gonna complete the level like this. Oh, <laughs> you dip. Is the level doing the Mexican wave? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, Wait, I'm, stand, I'm stand, actually... no, like, stand in one spot. Yep. It, it pushes. Oh. Wait, no, that's not. Hold <laughs> yeah. well on. Oh, they're oh, all gone! Oh, I see. They're all gone. No more Mexican way. <laughs> so they keep coming... Dude, that's like... That's like implying that he had an addiction, you know? And when he stopped, he didn't need them anymore. <laughs> that's deep! Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, Yoshi's Island, the next one. You get me, though? You get me, Cubs? Yeah, yeah, I get you. But... It's like they kept appearing until you stopped touching them. <laughs> and then you... Yeah, what, what the fuck? <laughs> <It's okay>, please! <laughs> Yeah, calm down. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> crazy, dude. <laughs> he lost you. Oh, man. Hey, Nintendo. <laughs> Japanese, up our children. Japanese people are too crazy for me. So, um, so first Super Monkey Ball. Now this. Soon we'll be on to fucking Parodius. That's gonna be a, a uh, can of worms in itself, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you think this is bad? Just play Parodius. The 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 um wow, I'm brain fighting right now. In Parodius, there are those um, enemies where it's like no spoilers, no spoilers. No, keep it fresh. You've seen it. You've seen it. They haven't. Well, to I won't explain them to them. Like I will explain or describe the enemy, but because they're so weird, it's you can't visualize it. Here we go. Fire breath. Holy oh, shit. Um, pretty much looking up one of those uh, fireballs from Mario 1. Yeah. That gets you the fire breath, but you can only do it up to three times. So, yep, and then you lose it. So, yeah, um, in Parodius, there are the dildo shooters. <laughs> uh, yeah, Take that as you will. The dildo the shooting Maori heads. And it pretty much is what it is. Like, you're probably trying to imagine it. And thinking, no, they would, no one would put that in the game. And then you, and then you can, um, continue to watch the game, and you're like, holy fuck, that they actually put some some crazy Japanese person put this in the game. And, <laughs> and they still have a job. Yeah. 
Hey, I would have. Back in the day, if I saw that on the shelf, I'd buy it. I don't even know how I ended up discovering the game. It was like. Maybe my mum bought it for me as a kid or something. She was like, this looks like a fun. <laughs> this looks like family <laughs> fun. <laughs> Metro Shula. <laughs> mom, don't look at the screen! And now I'm a fucking converted. <laughs> this game is really Yeah. What's the opposite of naive? Somebody tell me. Skeptical. Skeptical. No, it's not. Cynical. Cynical? Maybe cynical. Not skeptical. Skeptical is like, like um, uh, apprehensive. Or like, um, hesitant. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Games can fuck you up, kids. <laughs> Play the right ones. Not all of that game. Games can fuck you up. That game is the physical. Man, <laughs> that one level ago, the game did fuck us up. <laughs> Literally. Uh, are you afraid of the the, the tumbleweeds that made you high? Oh, in this game, I'm, yeah. I'm still talking. Just like about one level ago, it just. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Parodius. Yeah, I'm talking about this. Even the spikes are cute. How is that possible? <laughs> They're like, <"Rawr." laughs> I'm gonna harm you. Dude, the spikes are like freaking semicircles. <laughs> <laughs> See the um the thing you're standing on right now? Yeah. The spikes are like that. <laughs> like a semicircle. Then that. why am I not getting damaged? Touch it. No, the, these things I'm standing I, on. I, it's like I need you to prove to me that they hurt you. These spikes? The, the sp yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like the first time you play Mario and you're like, Oh, look, this guy's cute. Hey, he hurt me. And it's a cute ball. Oh, and those aren't cute. <laughs> then it's a bag so, of legs. <laughs> yeah, so if you put a bag over his body, he's cute. Oh, how did you do that? Uh, when you jump, it rotates, and when you land, it goes <gasps> in the direction. This game is so freaking awesome! Uh, Can you stop I'm hugging the game? I wanna play! <laughs> totally you hug everything. Um, yeah, um, don't worry, after this boss, I'll give it to you. you can even master. those doors are from Super Mario World. Yeah. Oof. Get this week. Oof, bro. This is the boss, yeah? Yeah. It's Magic Cooper, yeah? No, um, what happens is uh, Kamek comes in and makes a regular enemy about 50 times as large. Yeah. With his magic and just uh, takes off and you gotta deal with it. Oh, so it is Magic Cooper. But you don't fight him. Yeah. This kid's innocent. It's like it's like a versing a Pokemon trainer with his Pokemon. The Pokemon doesn't want to do it, he's just forced to. Yeah. Because he's a slave. Um, one good thing about this boss is that you can't get hurt by touching it. I swear to god, if I come across a boss that's actually menacing, I'm going to cry. <laughs> look at this. It's so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is wear it down by uh, getting the eggs and... Oh my god! It doesn't even to, hurt. I want to hug it. And these uh, little yellow things are your ammo regions. It's so cute, I wanna fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Don't ruin the thing. I mean, I don't what care do you, about. I don't care about you, but don't kill the little blob. <laughs> what do you think it's made out of? Uh, I would think um, it's, it's egg like, whites. It's like fucking marshmallows or cotton candy or something. Yeah, something like that. Like egg whites. Maybe it's like a Pavlova gone rogue. Yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> you left me in the fridge. Now die. Two eyeballs on a Pavlova. We're <laughs> just karate chopping it small. Should we small. take a break every world? In every every second, second world? Oh, how long is this one going for? About forty-five minutes. Yeah, okay. Break right. everyone? If you want to. Alright, I think we should, because otherwise it'll be a longer. Alright. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.